Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gentle Dog Trainers channel. I'm your host, Olivia De Santos, and today we're talking about how to choose toys for a blind dog. Now, this is a very specific topic, but I thought that it would be a very interesting one to explore. And we recently wrote an article on all of the best toys on the market for blind dogs in Australia. So you can click the link down below for some more inspiration about this topic. But let's say that you have a blind dog at home or a dog that is partially sighted. How can you choose the best toys for them to play with? That's what we're going to talk about today. Before we dive in, I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. If you want to raise happy, healthy, and well-behaved dogs, we make videos about all things dogs every single week. So hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button so that you never miss an upload. Now, let's dive into how blind dogs play. So, Blind, dogs that go blind are just as playful as they were before. They just need to be a bit more creative and you need to be a bit more creative in the ways that you play with them. More often than not, the way that you're going to play with your dog is going to be relying on the other senses. So, you know, fetch is probably not a game that you'll be able to play anymore, but you will be able to use nose games and um, noisy dog toys and things like that to really stim to stimulate their other senses. So yes, you can play with blind dogs and they would love it if you played with them because all dogs love to play and blind dogs are no exception. So when you're choosing a, so when you're choosing a toy for your blind dog, you want to think about these four things. The first is the severity of your dog's blindness because there are some toys that actually work quite well for partially sighted dogs. They do need to have some sense of sight, but it still relies primarily on the other senses. Um, and then there are some toys that are perfect for completely blind dogs. The next thing you want to think about is engaging the other senses. The primary senses with toys specifically to look out for would be touch, smell, and sound. If you can engage these other senses or more than one sense with the dog toy that you choose, you're more likely to have a happy pup. Next is the size. So there is a huge problem that I always complain about whenever I write an article on gentle dog trainers about how small dog toys tend to be. Um, it can be harder to find toys that are suitable for large and medium dogs, but it's even more important that you find a dog toy that is the appropriate size for your dog when they are blind because if it is a little bit too small it will be a choking hazard and even more so if they can't actually see the toy so make sure that the so make sure that you read the manufacturer's guidelines as to how big of a dog this toy is suitable for um, particularly if it's something like a chew toy things like that because it, your dog is more likely to destroy it quite quickly if it is too small for them. The final thing I recommend thinking about is the durability of the toy. Obviously you want your dog's toys to be quite long lasting, have some longevity to them, um, but also if your dog is blind it might take a little bit of a learning curve to discover how they're going to interact with this toy. So they might be a bit rougher with it initially, uh, they might you know, use it in kind of different ways which means that they're more likely to break. So choose a toy that is super, super durable, known for being durable. The best way to figure this out is to look at the reviews. If it falls apart within the first few weeks, someone will say something on Amazon. So check the reviews for really accurate um, measure of durability. Finally, let's talk about the types of toys that you can give your blind dog. So the first is a noisy dog toy. So obviously this engages the sense of sound and yes it can be a bit grating uh, to have a squeaky toy around the house all of the time but it will make your dog so so happy there are even interactive dog toys that will like 
talk back to your dog or you know roll around and make a sound as they roll our top choice for the best blind dog toy um, has a giggle function which is quite funny uh, so noisy dog toys are really really great for blind dogs and really engages their sense of sound but also helps mentally stimulate them the next category are scented dog toys so scented dog toys of course uses a sense of smell nose games would fall under this as well so snuffle mat is an example of a nose game but you also have like scented dog chews like bacon scented chews um, that work really well for blind dogs too final category of blind dog toys are puzzle toys so I would say that this is best for partially sighted blind dogs but it depends on the type of toy to be honest because puzzle toys is a very broad um, term so do check out our article on puzzle on dog puzzle toys in the description box down below and that will help kind of explain the different types of puzzle toys there are out there but if your dog has like some sense of sight then they can do like the traditional kind of block puzzles like doggy sudoku and things like that because primarily it's a nose game um, it's about finding a treat however if your dog has more severe blindness then there are other types of puzzle toys that might suit them well and if you're interested in learning a bit more about how to mentally stimulate your dog then check out this video here I've been Olivia DeSantos for the Dental Dog Trainers channel. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And for now, we are going to love you and leave you. And see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.